guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well wish you all a very happy new year and in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you how i recreated this beautiful hande archil inspired makeup look so if you want to know how i got this look then please keep on watching but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and yeah without rambling much let's get started so starting off with a moisturizer and this one is a very nice and hydrating moisturizer especially if you have oily sensitive acne prone skin highly recommend this one and i'm just applying it all over my face i'm just giving my skin a good massage so that it sinks into my skin and i will leave it for four to five minutes so that it seeps into my skin and then i will move on to the next product Now she has very nice and hydrated and dewy looking skin and to mimic that I'm using MAC Stroop Cream in the shade Gold Light. You can use any illuminator as well, not necessarily you have to use Stroop Cream. I'm just trying to finish it up but the Stroop Cream is really really nice and the Gold Light shade is perfect for Indian skin tone if you're looking for a good illuminator underneath your base. It just gives your skin that fresh, juicy, dewy, lit from within kind of look. But also I'm going to be using a primer because I'm going to hide those pores. For primer, I'm choosing a silicone based one because this is going to hide my pores. It's going to make my skin smooth and also this is going to give my foundation that flawless canvas to work with. So I'm mostly concentrating on my T-zone area where I have a lot of pores and where I get oily throughout the day. Now she has very beautiful flawless looking skin. I don't have that. I have a lot of acne scars and I'm using a darker shade concealer here to hide my dark circles and my acne scars. Of course, I need to hide those bad boys. And I always prefer using my finger to color correct my face because my finger has that warmth and it just melts the product into the skin and makes everything look flawless. And once that is done, I'm just using my beauty blender so that there is no concealer patch left. And then I'm using this infallible full wear concealer to highlight my under eyes, down the bridge of my nose. I'm using a little bit on my cupid's bow, forehead, wherever I want to highlight my face. And this one is a full coverage concealer, so a little goes a really long way. Now when it comes to the base makeup, she is having a very dewy yet natural looking base makeup going on and to mimic that I'm using two of my favorite dewy looking foundations. The finish is amazing and I love using them mostly on winter season and look at that finish you guys. It looks so beautiful on the skin, so dewy, natural looking yet stunning on the skin. Then to set the cream products on place, I'm using this Maybelline Master Fix translucent powder. It doesn't have any coverage to it, so it looks very natural on the skin. So slightly dabbing a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. You guys know I don't like baking because baking makes my under eye look very dry and cakey and I don't like that feeling. And then I'm using a setting spray to lock down everything on place. And now let's move on to the brows. Now she is having this beautiful, bushy, feathery yet natural looking brows. And to mimic that, I'm using this pencil. Now I used to love this pencil back in 2019. And now I think they have repackaged it or something. I will link everything in the description box below. And then I'm using a brow gel just to give my brows that, you know, bushy, feathery look. And I really like this uh, brow gel lately. Moving on to the eyes and she is having a beautiful soft brown smoky eye going on with a wing eyeliner and it looks perfect for everyday makeup look and to mimic that I am using my Smashbox palette. This is my hands down favorite palette of 2019. 
I know this palette is a little expensive but once you get it you will know I absolutely love this palette the pigmentation the quality everything is just top notch and it's it's worth your money okay and guys this eye makeup look is so stunning yet so easy to recreate I have just used two eyeshadows to create this whole eye makeup look so you have an idea how easy it is to recreate Now the wing eyeliner she is wearing, I thought that the gel eyeliner would be perfect to mimic that uh, eyeliner look but I was not really happy with the finish of this gel eyeliner as this is 2 years old now and it's not that great you know it just dried a little bit so I wasn't really happy with the finish. So I decided to use a pen eyeliner on top to get that snatched uh, wing eyeliner look and uh, after the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I think this one is the second best at least for me. This liner is really good but it's not waterproof and I don't mind that because it's water resistant so if you sweat a lot this is not gonna go off. And then I curled my lashes and applied some good amount of mascara. Now I know she is having lash extensions, I believe, but I don't use falsies as well. So I want my lashes to look really long and voluminous. So I am using a generous coat of mascara. And when it comes to mascara, Maybelline is the best. So yeah, I am using two mascaras today and I am really loving the finish of these mascaras. And now coming to the complexion, now she is having a very natural looking contour and bronzer going on and I think the Flower Beauty bronzer is perfect for that because it has that cool tone, you can use it as a contour as well and it's a bronzer and it has a sheen to it so it looks very natural on the skin so I'm really loving this bronzer lately and yeah I think it's perfect for this look. And once the bronzing is done, I'm taking a contour brush and contouring my face with the same bronzer and because of this undertone, it just looks perfect on the skin. Now when it comes to the blush, uh, she is having a very natural looking, a very barely there kind of blush. It's almost not visible on the skin. So I'm using this blush only on top of those areas where I have applied the bronzer and I'm using very light hand. Then for highlighter, I'm using this Maybelline Master Chrome. Now her highlighter is very much visible on the skin but it's not like too blinding and too you know overpowering on the skin. So I'm using it with the help of a brush and then I'm blending it with my finger to get that you know lit from within kind of glow like it's there but it's not like too beaming on the skin. And then to make it look even more subtle, I'm using my beauty blender and I'm just dabbing it on top of those areas so that everything looks seamless and blended. Now let's move on to the lips and it was clearly visible in the picture that she always overlined her lips but I don't overline my entire lip. I just overline on the cupid's bow area and on the bottom area of my lips and I just overline on those areas. I think that looks good on me. Then for lipstick, she is having this beautiful new deep pinky glossy kind of shade going on and I'm using this one. Now this demi matte lip cream almost feels like a gloss on my lips and it's very comfortable to wear and the color I think looks kind of close to each other. So I am choosing this one and it looks perfect with this look. So yeah. So yeah guys that's it that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave give this video a big thumbs up if you like this makeup look and also let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this particular makeup look if you want me to make any other makeup recreation definitely let me know and yeah that's it for today's video I will see you in my next video bye.